In this video, I will show you how to fix logical errors using the Visual Studio Debugger to fix this issue where our worker does not move towards a tree before starting to chop it. So here is the project, and in the previous video we have debugged a script called Selection Manager. Now, the issues with the logical errors are a bit tougher to find because we have no issue whatsoever so no exception appearing in the console while we still have the error appearing in our game so we need to go to our code and we need to find where exactly we are moving our worker so i can see that i am setting the destination of my worker to the selected object dot transform so i need to go to the worker let's go to the definition and I will find myself inside the worker script. Now the set destination method is setting some flags, so chopping false, moving true, but we know that the chopping works, so this is not the case here. We are setting the target to the destination, but we are starting to chop and the tree is shaking and it is disappearing. So if I slide up, I will find that in the update I'm actually using this moving flag and here I am performing the movement or collecting resources depending on this if else statement. So probably here is my bug. Again, it, is, it will require a bit of an effort on your part to find where exactly could this bug originate. Now I know that my perform movement method, if I go to the definition of it, it is actually calling the animation and moving or changing the position of my transform. So this is where I am moving my uh, worker, but this method is not being performed. I am starting to collect resources whenever I click on the uh, tree. So this means that we are skipping this part. So the best uh, way to debug this is to add another breakpoint. Now we are going to use this column here to add a breakpoint at the start of my method just after this first if statement because I know that when I'm setting the move uh, flag or moving flag in the set destination this means that this update will start invoking its logic. Now I will again go to the top of Visual Studio and, and attach this to Unity so that I have this debugger working with Unity. I will go back to Unity okay and i will press play here to reproduce my bug okay unity has started the game so i will select my worker select the tree but now i'm seeing that the previous breakpoint from the previous video was triggered so i am seeing that i am inside the selection manager so how can i fix it how can i uh, stop using this breakpoint well we can click on this breakpoint here on this uh, in this column but this could take some time if we have a lot of breakpoints in our code so another way to disable those breakpoints is to go to the breakpoints tab at the bottom. If you don't see it again, debug, window, and you should be able to at the top select breakpoints. And now we are going to see all the breakpoints in our project. Now we can uh, disable all of those or delete all of those. As you can see, if we click on those, we can disable them, meaning that they will not trigger the code pause. But if we want to delete those, if we know that we are not going to use the selection manager breakpoint, all we need to do is click here or click delete. And now we are going to delete it. Now to continue, we need to at the top click continue. And now we are going to go to the next breakpoint, which is in our update method of the worker. That's exactly what we wanted to check. Now it is good idea to place those breakpoints as high as we can inside our method so we can step by step go through each of those lines and see what is going on. So first here we are calculating some destination based on the target position plus the offset. Again, we can use either the step into F11 or step over F10. Step over will avoid going into a method and will simply step over it. So just uh, ask the code to calculate the destination and step to the next line. So we can use this step over. And now we know that the destination is this value. Now what is going on here? We are calculating some direction, transform position destination, and we are going to check if this is uh, less than arrival distance. Now you might already know what is the issue here, but let's say that we do, are not sure. So I'm going to use step into or step over, and I can see that this code did not run. What is going on here? Well, I have no idea what is this distance value, and I can check this arrival distance. We can see that this is 0.2, but for this we can again use our immediate window. We can clear it, and what I can do is I can type arrival distance, and I will be able to simply select it, enter, and I will be able to print it. 
The same way I can select this vector through distance and I can uh, actually access the position and the destination values and print the value here. So I know that this value is 2.08 and the arrival distance is 0.2. So this should work well, but what, why it is not working as expected? Why it is not triggering this perform movement? Well, let me select this whole line of code and let me paste it into the immediate window. And I can see that this is false, meaning that if this is false, this will not run. The collect resource method will run, meaning that there is something wrong with this logic. And here is the issue. The logical error is that I am checking if this is less than arrival distance. Well, what I meant to do is check if this is greater than arrival distance. So it works correctly. So let me slide the arrow back to this point and I will step into this or step over. And again, this does not work because the safest way to modify this code and check it is to pause our debugging process, go back to Unity, pause the game and attach it again. So let me go back to Visual Studio, attach it to our project. Uh, let me go to Unity. Let me start the game again. OK, let me select the worker. Let's go to the uh, tree. And now Visual Studio didn't automatically appear, so I need to open it manually. And again, we have this uh breakpoint here i will step over it using f10 and now i will use f11 to step into and i can see that now we have entered this perform movement method so this should mean that we are performing the movement let me stop this debugging process because that's basically what was not invoked let me go back to unity and we can see that our uh, worker is actually moving towards the tree but we have a new issue as i can see the uh, amount of wood is not modified so this means that if i select my other tree and if i start chopping it it should add one wood per each chop but it is constantly staying at one so this means that there is some issue with the calculation of the value of the wood resource so that's what we are going to tackle in the last video of this series. I will show you how to use watch window and the data tapes to, to verify the amount that is set here and to fix this kind of calculation bug. But again, this will require us to research a bit of how this value is actually set. Okay, see you in the next video.